You know, this story that, you know, we about to talk about here is, you know, definitely in the world of sports. And, you know, also, you know, we had this propaganda that's online about, you know, Zaddy, how Zaddy is so much better than brothers, you know, that, and, it's, and that's a small minority, you know, of them online saying that. And what they try to do is pass up stories like this. And when we cover stories like this, we're trying to say, look, it's no such thing as a grass is greener on the other side about no relationships at all. It's not. Now, you have a young sister that lost her life. Now, her name was Molly Lillard. You know, she was a daughter of New York Jets legend Al Toon, and she was shot dead by her husband in, an, in a murder-suicide. So the police said that uh, the husband, Roy Lillard III, you know, shot her before turning the gun on himself in their home in Scottsdale, Arizona, in front of their eight-month-old baby. Now, luckily, the baby was not hurt whatsoever. So, you know, her uh, husband, Royce, barricaded himself inside the family home. They say when police arrived after an hours-long standoff with the SWAT team, they, when they finally went in, uh, they found him uh, dead. The wife was taken to the hospital, but she was pronounced dead after succumbing to her injuries. Uh, the couple was married just a little over two years. Now, you know, her father, Al Toon, you know, he was an uh, NFL player in the Pro Bowl uh, three times in eight years of his career with the New York Jets. Um, he set a lot of records at the University of Wisconsin. Now, uh, Molly herself had went to the University of Wisconsin, and she was a volleyball player um, in high school. And she also um, went to the um, university as well. Now, they said that, the police had responded to the reports of a shooting in East Scottsdale uh, around 5 p.m. on Sunday and found, um, you know, the uh, Altoon's daughter uh, with gunshot wounds in front of her house. Okay. So she was taken to the hospital. Um, they said who police said the victim to us and went back inside their house. So, you know, he shot her and everything. She's laying down the front lawn being shot up. He went back in the house with the eight month old baby. Now, the SWAT team itself went in the home at 10.45 p.m. They said, well, they discovered, you know, him dead, as we said earlier. Um, now, the child went with family members, and that's a good thing. You know, that child in the system. Uh, everybody that know um, Al Toon and, and everything, they say they, they devastated for brother. You know, and, and trust me, I, I would not want to be in that position where I'm getting a phone call and my daughter's gone and gone in that manner. I mean – you know, think about the emotions. You're going to be sad. You're going to be upset. You know, you're going to be all kind, just all kind of emotions. You know, he killed himself. I mean, the way our response are, well, well, good. That's what he did. That's what, that's what he should have done. Um, but it doesn't bring your daughter back at all. And what I'm saying about this kind of story is you don't sit up here and put out a propaganda and say, oh, black men are so horrible. Black men, this black men, black men, black men get you a zaddy. Oh, you know, they, you know, these zaddy not going to do you anything. And zaddy going to give you some money and zaddy going to protect you. Does zaddy protect this woman? Did he do that? No. And you want to talk about suicide. If you look at the numbers of suicide, black men are the lowest group of men in America that to commit suicide. When you look at zaddy, he ranks the highest as suicide. I mean, you could just look it up. So when you, you're sitting up there online, we're saying online because the majority of sisters not even own that crap. But you always got to make sure to combat, you know, negativity like that. You know, at least within our community, right? Because it just takes a little bit to to ruin a whole lot of things. You know, and that's a lot of definitely that's a lot of misinformation they're giving out. Oh, well, well it's green on Zaddy gonna treat you this and Zaddy, and then when these stories come out, the main cheerleaders of Zaddy. They don't talk about these stories. They pass it up. They're like, oh, I didn't hear about that story. And then you, you, you may email them and they'd be like, uh, I didn't get that email. I don't know what you're talking about. Or at times they will sit up there and, and try to defend Zaddy and say, well, what did she do? I mean, did she do something to set him off? You know, I mean, it was like the last sister that got beat by that uh, NFL player, right? You, it was amazing how they were sitting up here just trying to defend that but you cannot defend something that can't be defended. Don't ever think getting with someone of a different group 
is going to mean the grass is going to be greener on the other side. At the end of the day, people are people. That's first and foremost. You know, in this country, it, they trained us to be thinking so much about a skin color, which is so stupid. I mean, it, it is utterly stupid. And you got a whole system built off of people's skin color. Skin color don't do crap. It really don't. Now, you have different cultures of people, different cultures of people, you know, have their own way of doing things. I get that. Then you got people just to deal with them at a human level. But when you go into another culture and the way they do things, sometimes it may not mesh well for you. Um, and, and, and that's fine, but don't sit up here and say this other group of people is just so much better than the men in your community. And we like I said, we right now we are in a freaking anti-black war. So the last thing we need to do is be telling, saying those sort of things on the male side or the female side as well. I, I go both ways on that. We shouldn't say we're going to this different group of women. It's going to be so much better than dealing with the women in the community. I'm just saying that, you know, don't do that. If you meet somebody, I'm not saying what to do. You meet somebody and it's on something genuine. That's y'all. I, I, most people that's on that kind of relationship, you know, out here talking about the zaddy thing and all of that. We're saying that don't sit up here and think that the grass is greener on the other side. You got this young sister gone, you know, this brother, you know, messed up. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the old people say, you supposed to bury your children. Your children are supposed to bury you, but leave me a comment. Let me think about the situation, you know, with this uh, story and you know, like I said, don't email me, you know, I mean, cause you got this one bed winch that just emails me every time I talk about Zaddy, like I'm gonna talk about Zaddy all day long. Okay. Emailing me is not going to stop it. You know, this, 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 this bit when she's stalking me y'all for years, I block her email. She coming to me with another email. Like you figured me out by now, you know, I'm not going to stop talking about this situation. So why email me? 